Hello, this is Craig, and presumably you can hear why there haven't been any videos for the past couple of days, but I don't want to leave the, even though I'm not recovered yet, I don't want to leave the uh, channel empty for too long. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a simple thing today, and that's how to animate a standing pose for this mech. You're going to need these lessons if you ever plan to do monsters that are 3D and animated, so this works just as well for a monster as it does for a mech. And just to go over it again, there's a mesh and there's also a skeleton. We're going to need a new window for our animation, so just drag a new window up and then change it, the bottom window, to a dope sheet. Um, is a dope sheet what I wanted? There's actually a lot of ways to do this. I think a dope sheet's probably easiest. So we'll switch the dope sheet over into an action editor like this, and then we're going to create a new action. We're going to call it Stand. Now here is a trick that you must remember. You must always make sure that F button is pushed. By default, Blender will not save animations uh, unless they're on an object. And since we're going to be creating a lot of animations for this one object, obviously only one animation is going to be on it at a, any given time, and therefore uh, a lot of animations would end up being erased. So make sure that you have this F at all times. Uh, now in terms of what we're trying to do here, um, we want to make this uh, have animation for the skeleton, but uh, we're not actually aiming for anything terribly complicated, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and set up a keyframe right at the start by selecting everything and then hitting I. And this will allow me to insert a lot of different variations here. Now here's a key to using mechanism correctly. Don't insert scaling. You just need location and rotation most of the time you might only need rotation actually. And the reason for that is because in Mechanim you may want to put this on a character that's larger or smaller or has a different shape to their bones and if scaling is there then it will always stretch whatever mesh you've attached back into this exact shape rather than properly scaling the bones. Alright so we're going to go ahead and make a standing pose which we're going to go ahead and um, let's see. I guess we'll start by just bringing these arms down. So I'm going to go ahead and use front view to make sure that the rotation is the same on both sides. Uh, straight down, that is, like so. And you can see that that gives us a little bit of a slightly forlorn oh, mech stance. So let's go ahead and uh, change the mech stance a little bit to give it a little bit of a more... Uh, a slightly more aggressive feel to it, so it's not not quite as oh, I'm a mech and I'm sad. Um, the chest is so narrow though that it's difficult to make this mech have a uh, an aggressive stance. It's only got variations on a neutral stance. So as the PC, we'll be looking at this from the back like this. And uh, I guess that's okay for a stand. So we're going to go ahead and select all that again, hit I, and uh, location and rotation again. And that'll just overwrite our key. Now, we've written in all of the bones, but technically speaking, we only need to write in like five or six. Um, you know, you can deal with that as you, as you please. Uh, now, the other thing we want to do is we want to go somewhere else. Like, say, if we're running at, I forget whether we run at 30 frames. Is it 32 frames default? I think it might be might also be 24. Well, either way, you want to pick something down the line, like, say, 100, uh, depending on how long you want the neutral cycle to be. So if you pick 103, for example, which is an awful idea, um, let's get at least an even number. Come on. All right, zoom in. You bastard. My fine motor control is not what it normally is. And then we'll just go ahead and insert again. And that means that this will be the same at both sides. And then we can put another key in the middle, which we will subtly alter the way that the mech is standing. And that'll just make it so that it tweens quickly between whatever we wanted. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and um, tip the mech a little bit like this. And we're also going to go ahead and 
bring one of the legs up just a touch and bring one of the toes down just a touch. Not that far. Bring this guy back a little bit. And to make it seem a little bit more human, we're going to go ahead and add in just a tiny bit of head lift and a tiny amount of neck tilt. Make one of these arms go just a little bit in just a little bit. Select everything and I location rotation. Alright, so if you want to see how this plays out, you can just by dragging the mouse. So you can see how they got a little bit of a foot tap thing. Tip, tap, tip, tap. Uh, and that's how easy it is to create an animation in Blender. If you want to create another animation, you could either hit plus or you could hit two if you want to create a variation on this. Um, either of those would work, and you just do the same thing over and over again. Uh, we'll, I'll be doing a, a walk cycle later. I'll probably make an episode out of it because it's a little bit, it's the most important part. Uh, the walk and run cycles are the most important animation you build. Um, but what we just do now is we save, and then we go ahead and open the Unity file for this. Hold on. Alright, here's the Unity file, and I'm using Mech 5 right now, and you can see it pops up just fine over here. And some guy has been whining to me uh, repeatedly that I should use a normal uh, calculate rather than import. And yeah, you can do that. It just you, it lets you shape the normals how you'd like, uh, rather than having the smooth normals. And obviously, for a mech, that's better. Um, but since this mech's mesh is so terrible that I'm not planning on using it, I didn't really give a fuck. So I go into Rig, and you can see that we've still got the humanoid rig. If we go over here into Animations, uh, and we should be able to just see that there is an animation called Stand right here. See? And, uh... uh can we hit Play? Where is the Play button? Oh, it's down here? Play. There it is. You see how he's got just a little bit of a... Uh, just a little bit of motion to him. Uh, now, when, we go, when we're going to do something like this, it's a looped system, so make sure that all of these lights are green. Um, these really only matter when you're manipulating the base bone. So if you ever do move the base bone, you've got to be real careful about how that works. Mechanism's always been a little bit flaky, and it's been evolving, so I can't tell you exactly what ways it's going to be flaky, but historically it's always been a little bit flaky with animations that actually move the core of the mesh. Uh, that is, the whole mesh up and down. Well, anyhow, if we want to create a mechanism for that, then we'll go ahead and just drag it into the scene. Uh, here. Clunk. We're not planning on using this at the moment. I'm not going to actually bake this into the character until I've got some walk cycles and stuff. Um, but when you have a mech like this, you can see that it starts uh, with a skinned mesh render, which is an indication that it understands that this is a complicated object. And here is the animator. We don't have any animation controller, but we can create one quite easily. Poof. And we will call this mech1. And we can drop this in here and then open it for editing. So this is the Mechanim engine, and if you've never used it before, um, you should probably go get a tutorial. It's got a little bit of wonkiness to it. However, the basic idea is that you can drag animation. Excuse me, you can drag animations into it, like so. Uh, and then you can, I think, just drag. Is it make transition? There it is. And you can just drag uh, stuff like that. So uh, now, if we hit play, that mech will be in um, if we hit play, that mech will be in a standing pose. We can go take a look at it. Yep, see how it's in standing pose instead of T pose, and you can make those transitions in a lot of different ways. And we'll cover that once I've got some walking and running animations. Anyhow, that's it for today, and I'm, depending on how sick I am tomorrow, it's probably it for tomorrow as well.